In mathematics, Fourier analysis is the study of the way general functions may be represented or approximated by sums of simpler trigonometric functions. Fourier analysis grew from the study of Fourier series, and is named after Joseph Fourier, who showed that representing a function as a sum of trigonometric functions greatly simplifies the study of heat transfer. Today, the subject of Fourier analysis encompasses a vast spectrum of mathematics. In the sciences and engineering, the process of decomposing a function into oscillatory components is often called Fourier analysis, while the operation of rebuilding the function from these pieces is known as Fourier synthesis. For example, determining what component frequencies are present in a musical note would involve computing the Fourier transform of a sampled musical note. One could then re-synthesize the same sound by including the frequency components as revealed in the Fourier analysis. In mathematics, the term Fourier analysis often refers to the study of both operations. The decomposition process itself is called a Fourier transformation. Its output, the Fourier transform, is often given a more specific name, which depends on the domain and other properties of the function being transformed. Moreover, the original concept of Fourier analysis has been extended over time to apply to more and more abstract and general situations, and the general field is often known as harmonic analysis. Each transform used for analysis see list of Fourier-related transforms has a corresponding inverse transform that can be used for synthesis. Topic applications Fourier analysis has many scientific applications, in physics, partial differential equations, number theory, combinatorics, signal processing, digital image processing, probability theory, statistics, forensics, option pricing, cryptography, numerical analysis, acoustics, oceanography, sonar, optics, diffraction, geometry, protein structure analysis, and other areas. This wide applicability stems from many useful properties of the transforms. The transforms are linear operators and, with proper normalization, are unitary as well, a property known as Parseval's theorem or, more generally, as the Plancherel theorem, and most generally via Pontryagin duality. The transforms are usually invertible. The exponential functions are eigenfunctions of differentiation, which means that this representation transforms linear differential equations with constant coefficients into ordinary algebraic ones Therefore, the behavior of a linear time invariant system can be analyzed at each frequency independently. By the convolution theorem, Fourier transforms turn the complicated convolution operation into simple multiplication, which means that they provide an efficient way to compute convolution-based operations such as polynomial multiplication and multiplying large numbers The discrete version of the Fourier transform can be evaluated quickly on computers using fast Fourier transform FFT algorithms, Conte and de Boer 1980 in forensics, laboratory infrared spectrophotometers use Fourier transform analysis for measuring the wavelengths of light at which a material will absorb in the infrared spectrum. The FT method is used to decode the measured signals and record the wavelength data. And by using a computer, these Fourier calculations are rapidly carried out, so that in a matter of seconds, a computer-operated FTIR instrument can produce an infrared absorption pattern comparable to that of a prism instrument. Fourier transformation is also useful as a compact representation of a signal. For example, JPEG compression uses a variant of the Fourier transformation, discrete cosine transform of small square pieces of a digital image. The Fourier components of each square are rounded to lower arithmetic precision, and weak components are eliminated entirely, so that the remaining components can be stored very compactly. In image reconstruction, each image square is reassembled from the preserved approximate Fourier transformed components, which are then inverse transformed to produce an approximation of the original image. Applications in signal processing 
When processing signals, such as audio, radio waves, light waves, seismic waves, and even images, Fourier analysis can isolate narrowband components of a compound waveform, concentrating them for easier detection or removal. A large family of signal processing techniques consist of Fourier transforming a signal, manipulating the Fourier transformed data in a simple way, and reversing the transformation. Some examples include equalization of audio recordings with a series of bandpass filters, digital radio reception without a superheterodyne circuit, as in a modern cell phone or radio scanner. Image processing to remove periodic or anisotropic artifacts such as jaggies from interlaced video, strip artifacts from strip aerial photography, or wave patterns from radio frequency interference in a digital camera. Cross-correlation of similar images for co-alignment. X-ray crystallography to reconstruct a crystal structure from its diffraction pattern. Fourier transform ion cyclotron resonance mass spectrometry to determine the mass of ions from the frequency of cyclotron motion in a magnetic field. Many other forms of spectroscopy, including infrared and nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopies. Generation of sound spectrograms used to analyze sounds. Passive sonar used to classify targets based on machinery noise. Topic. Variants of Fourier analysis Topic. Continuous Fourier transform Most often, the unqualified term Fourier transform refers to the transform of functions of a continuous real argument, and it produces a continuous function of frequency, known as a frequency distribution. One function is transformed into another, and the operation is reversible. When the domain of the input initial function is time t, and the domain of the output final function is ordinary frequency, the transform of function s t at frequency f is given by the complex number s f equals minus infinity infinity s t e minus I two pi f t d t display style s f equals int underscore in a t caret in a t s t c d o t e caret i two pi feet d t evaluating this quantity for all values of f produces the frequency domain function. Then s t can be represented as a recombination of complex exponentials of all possible frequencies. S t equals minus infinity infinity s f e i two pi f t d F display style s t equals int underscore in a t caret in a t s f c d o t e caret i two pi feet d f, which is the inverse transform formula. The complex number s f conveys both amplitude and phase of frequency f. See Fourier transform for much more information, including. Conventions for amplitude normalization and frequency scaling, units Transform properties Tabulated transforms of specific functions An extension, generalization for functions of multiple dimensions, such as images <laughs> Fourier series The Fourier transform of a periodic function, s p t, with period p, becomes a Dirac comb function, modulated by a sequence of complex coefficients s k equals 1 
p p s p t e minus i 2 pi k p t d t Display style S K equals FRAC one P int underscore P S underscore P T C D O T E carrot I two Pi FRAC K P T D T for all integer values of K, and where P is the integral over any interval of length P. The inverse transform, known as Fourier series, is a representation of SP -T in terms of a summation of a potentially infinite number of harmonically related sinusoids or complex exponential functions, each with an amplitude and phase specified by one of the coefficients S P T equals K equals minus infinity infinity s k e i 2 pi k p t f k equals minus infinity plus infinity s k Delta F minus K P Display style S underscore P T equals sum underscore K equals in a T carrot in a T S K C D O T E carrot I two pi F R A C K P T quad stackrel display style math call F long left right arrow quad sum underscore K equals in a T carrot plus in a T S K delta left F F R A C K P right when s p t is expressed as a periodic summation of another function s t s p t m equals minus infinity infinity s t minus m p Display style s underscore p t triangle sum underscore m equals n a t caret n a t s t m p. The coefficients are proportional to samples of s f at discrete intervals of one p s k equals one p s k p. Display style s k equals frac 1 p c d o t s left frac k p right. A sufficient condition for recovering s t and therefore s f from just these samples, i.e. from the Fourier series, is that the non-zero portion of s t be confined to a known interval of duration p, which is the frequency domain dual of the Nyquist-Shannon sampling theorem. See Fourier series for more information, including the historical development. Topic: <laughs> Discrete time Fourier transform (DTFT). The DTFT is the mathematical dual of the time domain Fourier series. Thus, a convergent periodic summation in the frequency domain can be represented by a Fourier series, whose coefficients are samples of a related continuous time function s 1 t f k equals minus infinity infinity s f minus K T N equals minus infinity infinity S N E minus I two 
pi f n t Fourier series DTFT Poisson summation formula equals f n equals minus infinity infinity s n delta t minus n t Display style s underscore frac one t f triangle underbrace sum underscore k equals n a t caret n a t s left f frac k t right equiv overbrace sum underscore n equals n a t caret n a t s n c d o t e caret i two pi f n t caret text Fourier series d t f t underscore text Poisson summation formula equals Math call f left sum underscore n equals n a t caret n a t s n delta t n t right, which is known as the DTFT. Thus, the DTFT of the S n sequence is also the Fourier transform of the modulated Dirac comb function. The Fourier series coefficients and inverse transform are defined by S n t. One T S one T F E I two Pi F N T D F equals T minus infinity infinity S F E I two Pi F N T D F S N T Display style S N triangle T int underscore FRAC one T S underscore FRAC one T F C D O T E carrot I two Pi F N T D F equals T underbrace int underscore in A T carrot in A T S F C D O T E carrot I two Pi F N T D F underscore triangle S N T Parameter t corresponds to the sampling interval, and this Fourier series can now be recognized as a form of the Poisson summation formula. Thus we have the important result that when a discrete data sequence, S n, is proportional to samples of an underlying continuous function, S t, one can observe a periodic summation of the continuous Fourier transform, S f. That is a cornerstone in the foundation of digital signal processing. Furthermore, under certain idealized conditions one can theoretically recover S F and S T exactly. A sufficient condition for perfect recovery is that the non-zero portion of S F be confined to a known frequency interval of width 1 t. When that interval is minus 1 half t, 1 half t, the applicable reconstruction formula is the Whitaker-Shannon interpolation formula. Another reason to be interested in S1 T F is that it often provides insight into the amount of aliasing caused by the sampling process. Applications of the DTFT are not limited to sampled functions. See discrete time Fourier transform for more information on this and other topics, including normalized frequency units, windowing, finite length sequences. Transform properties Tabulated transforms of specific functions Discrete Fourier transform DFT. Similar to a Fourier series, the DTFT of a periodic sequence, Sn n, with period n, becomes a Dirac comb function, modulated by a sequence of complex coefficients C DTFT, periodic data S k equals n S 
n n e minus i 2 pi k n n Display style s k equals sum underscore n s underscore n n c d o t e caret i two pi frac k n n, where n is the sum over any sequence of length n. The s k sequence is what is customarily known as the DFT of math s n. It is also n periodic, so it is never necessary to compute more than n coefficients. The inverse transform is given by s n n equals 1 n k s k e i 2 pi n n k Display style s underscore n n equals frac one n sum underscore k s k c d o t e caret i two pi frac n n k, where k is the sum over any sequence of length n. When s n n is expressed as a periodic summation of another function, s n n m equals Minus infinity infinity s n minus m n display style s underscore n n triangle sum underscore m equals n f t caret n f t s n Minnesota and s n s n t Display style s n triangle s n t. The coefficients are proportional to samples of s one t f at discrete intervals of one p equals one n t s k equals one t s one t k p Display style s k equals frac one t c d o t s underscore frac one t left frac k p right. Conversely, when one wants to compute an arbitrary number n of discrete samples of one cycle of a continuous DTFT s one t f, it can be done by computing the relatively simple DFT of s n n as defined above. In most cases, n is chosen equal to the length of non-zero portion of S n. Increasing n, known as zero padding or interpolation, results in more closely spaced samples of one cycle of S1 t f. Decreasing n, causes overlap adding in the time domain analogous to aliasing, which corresponds to decimation in the frequency domain. See sampling the DTFT. In most cases of practical interest, the S n sequence represents a longer sequence that was truncated by the application of a finite length window function or Fur filter array. The DFT can be computed using a fast Fourier transform FFT algorithm, which makes it a practical and important transformation on computers. See discrete Fourier transform for much more information, including Transform properties Applications Tabulated transforms of specific functions Topic. Summary For periodic functions, both the Fourier transform and the DTFT comprise only a discrete set of frequency components Fourier series, and the transforms diverge at those frequencies. One common practice not discussed above is to handle that divergence via Dirac delta and Dirac comb functions. But the same spectral information can be discerned from just one cycle of the periodic function, since all the other cycles are identical. 
Similarly, finite duration functions can be represented as a Fourier series, with no actual loss of information except that the periodicity of the inverse transform is a mere artifact. We also note that it is common in practice for the duration of S to be limited to the period, P or N but these formulas do not require that condition. Symmetry properties When the real and imaginary parts of a complex function are decomposed into their even and odd parts, there are four components, denoted below by the subscripts RE, RO, IE, and IO. And there is a one-to-one -one mapping between the four components of a complex time function and the four components of its complex frequency transform. Time domain S equals S re plus s r o plus i s i e plus i s i o f f f f f frequency domain s equals s re plus i s i o plus i s i e plus SRO display style begin array RCCCCCCCCC text time domain and S and equals and S underscore underscore text re and plus and S underscore underscore text RO and plus and as underscore underscore text IE and plus and under brace I S underscore underscore text IO and big up down arrow math call F and and big up down arrow math call F and and big up down down arrow math call f and an big up down arrow math call f and an big up down arrow math call f text frequency domain and s and equals and s underscore text re and plus and over brace i s underscore text i o and plus and as underscore text i e and plus and s underscore text r o end array from this various relationships are apparent for example the transform of a real valued function s r e plus SRO is the even symmetric function SRE plus ICO. Conversely, an even symmetric transform implies a real valued time domain. The transform of an imaginary valued function ICI plus ICO is the odd symmetric function SRO plus ICI, and the converse is true. The transform of an even symmetric function SRE plus ICO is the real valued function SRE plus SRO, and the converse is true. The transform of an odd symmetric function SRO plus ICI is the imaginary valued function ICI plus ICO, and the converse is true. Fourier transforms on arbitrary locally compact abelian topological groups The Fourier variance can also be generalized to Fourier transforms on arbitrary locally compact abelian topological groups, which are studied in harmonic analysis. There, the Fourier transform takes functions on a group to functions on the dual group. This treatment also allows a general formulation of the convolution theorem, which relates Fourier transforms and convolutions. See also the Pontryagin duality for the generalized underpinnings of the Fourier transform. More specific, Fourier analysis can be done on cosets, even discrete cosets. Topic: <laughs> Time frequency transforms. In signal processing terms, a function of time is a representation of a signal with perfect time resolution, but no frequency information, while the Fourier transform has perfect frequency resolution, but no time information. 
As alternatives to the Fourier transform, in time frequency analysis, one uses time frequency transforms to represent signals in a form that has some time information and some frequency information. By the uncertainty principle, there is a trade off between these. These can be generalizations of the Fourier transform, such as the short time Fourier transform, the Gabor transform or fractional Fourier transform FRFT, or can use different functions to represent signals, as in wavelet transforms and chirplet transforms, with the wavelet analog of the continuous Fourier transform being the continuous wavelet transform. History A primitive form of harmonic series dates back to ancient Babylonian mathematics, where they were used to compute ephemerides tables of astronomical positions, the classical Greek concepts of deferent and epicycle in the Ptolemaic system of astronomy were related to Fourier series see deferent and epicycle, mathematical formalism. In modern times, variants of the discrete Fourier transform were used by Alexis Clairaut in 1754 to compute an orbit, which has been described as the first formula for the DFT, and in 1759 by Joseph Louis Lagrange, in computing the coefficients of a trigonometric series for a vibrating string. Technically, Clairaut's work was a cosine-only series a form of discrete cosine transform, while Lagrange's work was a sine-only series a form of discrete sine transform. A true cosine plus sine DFT was used by Gauss in 1805 for trigonometric interpolation of asteroid orbits. Euler and Lagrange both discretized the vibrating string problem, using what would today be called samples. An early modern development toward Fourier analysis was the 1770 paper Reflections sur la résolution algébrique des équations by Lagrange, which in the method of Lagrange resolvents used a complex Fourier decomposition to study the solution of a cubic. Lagrange transformed the roots x1, x2, x3 into the resolvents R 1 equals x 1 plus x 2 plus x 3 r 2 equals x 1 plus zeta x 2 plus zeta 2 x 3 r 3 equals x 1 plus zeta 2 by 2 plus zeta x3 display style begin aligned r underscore 1 and equals x underscore 1 plus x underscore 2 plus x underscore 3 r underscore 2 and equals x underscore 1 plus zeta x underscore 2 plus zeta carrot 2 x underscore 3 r underscore 3 and equals x underscore 1 plus zeta carrot 2 x underscore 2 plus zeta x underscore 3 and End aligned where zeta is a cubic root of unity, which is the DFT of order 3. A number of authors, notably Jean La Ronde d'Alembert, and Carl Friedrich Gauss used trigonometric series to study the heat equation, but the breakthrough development was the 1807 paper Memoir sur la propagation de la chaleur dans les corps solides by Joseph Fourier, whose crucial insight was to model all functions by trigonometric series, introducing the Fourier series. Historians are divided as to how much to credit Lagrange and others for the development of Fourier theory. Daniel Bernoulli and Leonard Euler had introduced trigonometric representations of functions, and Lagrange had given the Fourier series solution to the wave equation, so Fourier's contribution was mainly the bold claim that an arbitrary function could be represented by a Fourier series. The subsequent development of the field is known as harmonic analysis, and is also an early instance of representation theory. 
The first fast Fourier transform FFT algorithm for the DFT was discovered around 1805 by Carl Friedrich Gauss when interpolating measurements of the orbit of the asteroids Juno and Pallas, although that particular FFT algorithm is more often attributed to its modern rediscoverers Cooley and Tukey. Topic: Interpretation in terms of time and frequency. In signal processing, the Fourier transform often takes a time series or a function of continuous time and maps it into a frequency spectrum. That is, it takes a function from the time domain into the frequency domain. It is a decomposition of a function into sinusoids of different frequencies. In the case of a Fourier series or discrete Fourier transform, the sinusoids are harmonics of the fundamental frequency of the function being analyzed. When the function f is a function of time and represents a physical signal, the transform has a standard interpretation as the frequency spectrum of the signal. The magnitude of the resulting complex valued function f at frequency ω represents the amplitude of a frequency component whose initial phase is given by the phase of f. Fourier transforms are not limited to functions of time, and temporal frequencies. They can equally be applied to analyze spatial frequencies, and indeed for nearly any function domain. This justifies their use in such diverse branches as image processing, heat conduction, and automatic control. Topic. See also. Equals equals notes. <laughs>